Hello, this is Michael Beatman with your Gateway FS weekly wrap-up for Friday, October 29th. Uh, we had a good week on the Chicago Board of Trade. Uh, December corn was up 30 and one quarter cent. Uh, November beans were up 15 and a quarter. Excuse me. And uh, December wheat was up 16 and three quarter cents on the week. Um, we had good export news. Uh, China and Mexico did did buy some uh, export soybeans. Um, and funds added, at least it's estimated that the managed money funds added 22,000 contracts of corn and 10,000 contracts of beans to the long side. Um, it was about midweek. I don't, I don't know who put it out. And, and it's been a theme that, that I've heard from, from a lot of customers is, is fertilizer costs next year. And so what, what these guys are thinking, at least what I heard was that, um, they're thinking there's going to be a pretty significant shift in the 22 crop. Um, away from corn to planting beans, uh, depending on the fertilizer situation. So a lot of that remains to be seen, but that's what's out there right now. And that's what's kind of pushing corn and providing support to corn um, near term. Um, <clears throat> we're still seeing uh, okay carries um, in our cash prices. So we do offer price later at all of our elevators. It's 35 cents and then four cents a month after that, 35 cents until the end of the year, and then four cents a month after that. It's a little different than storage in that if you want, you, you can't forward contract it. So if you want the January price, you need to wait until January. Um, and there is some risk there because you don't know if the market's going to go up or down. Um, but you, you have to take that day's price, the spot price, if you do want to price out those price later bushels. Um, this week, with the, with the help of the futures, and basis did get a little bit better, but we should close with a five in front of... Um, at almost every location as far as as cash corn nearby corn so hopefully that'll make guys decision a little bit easier um, most guys uh, are blessed with a bumper crop this year and not enough bin space so if you do have some extra bushels you know I, I i just think talking to customers that it's a little bit easier to let go of that corn if it's got a five in front of it as opposed to a four in front of it so hopefully as we get into november and you guys are watching this the first week of november um, we, uh, the futures remain high and, and we can still offer that $5 cash price. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to give myself, Adam Parker or Phil Sally a call at 282-4000. Thank you.